So this is how to recreate all of Serum's oscillator warp modes in Faceplant. So the first one is sync. Here's our wavetable. You could use any generator that you want to sync. Create a second wavetable. Open the wavetable editor. File new. And make this ramp. Click done. Close it. And then modulate the phase 100% and then macro that and that's your sync sync no window so to get the window create another wavetable and then open the editor file new and then on the first frame create this DC waveform, one at zero, one hundred percent, then one at five, one, two, one at one, five, three, six, I've got snapping on here, and then finish it off, and then hover along to 64, set a keyframe, and bring point one down, then hover along to 192, set a keyframe, whoops, there we go, and then bring these middle two, to 1024 to the middle and then set a final keyframe bring point one back up press done close this and then modulate the level 100% with that last one and then modulate the frame on the last one with a macro call that window And so at 75%, that is what Serum calls sync full window. And at 25%, that's what Serum calls sync half window. Between them, morphs and 0 and 100% are no window. So PWM, we've got some kind of carrier that we want to pulse width modulate. And then we've got a, uh, a modulator here. Uh, so choose modulators, remap PWM, set the harmonic on the first one to zero, and then modulate the phase at 25%. And then your frame knob is your PWM knob, your warp mode knob, which you can macro. And this is uh, a little imperfect it. You can see there's some artifacting there and it doesn't sound absolutely identical to uh, to Serum, but you know, every synthesizer has its characteristics. Okay, next up is Bend. So again, wipe out this wavetable. In fact, let's just make a new preset. So first you have your generator that you want to apply Bend to. And then you have your wavetable that controls that. So open up the wavetable picker and go to modulators bend soft. And then modulate the phase on the first one at 17%. And that is Serum's bend mode. As close as you can get it. It's not exactly like Serum. Like, the middle bends a little bit, but close enough. So you can macro this uh, frame position if you wanted to and call that bend plus minus. So in the middle would be no bend, and then either side would be plus minus. There you go. Okay. Next up would be a sim. Uh, create again your generator that you want to modulate, and then a second wavetable. Modulators. Pick a sim rounded. Modulate the phase at twenty five percent. And then again wavetable position. Thank you. 
is your um, warp mode knob. So you could macro that if you wanted to. And that's your ASIM plus minus. Again, 50% uh, is the dead zone. So after a, after a sim, it's flip. So flip, this is the wavetable that we're going to be flipping. And we create a second wavetable. This can be anything, this first one can be anything. Uh, but the second one needs to be a wavetable. We open this wavetable editor up, file, new, go to frame 128, and create this shape. So it's a square wave, but it has, you have to draw it in this order. So insert another keyframe at 256 and move 0.3 and 2 over to the right like this. Insert another one at 1 and then move 0.2 and then 3 over to the left like that. Hit done. And then modulate the level fully wet on whatever wavetable or generator you're applying this to and then macro the frame on the second one. And that is your flip. So next comes mirror, create a new one. Uh, this is the one we're gonna be doing it to. This is the one that's going to be doing it. So on the first one, set the harmonic to zero. On this one, choose modulators, remap mirror, and then modulate the phase at 25%. Again, macro frame position, and that's your warp knob from Serum for mirror. Okay, so remap. We've got the wavetable we want to work on, and then this second one that is going to hold our curve. So just empty this out. On the last frame, 256, I'm going to draw my remap curve. So the curve I'm going to choose to draw is this one. Right click to make these straight. And then on the first frame, I'm going to draw this shape. So this shape is what you need to get to to unremap. When I switch to this shape, it's going to unremap. So how you get here is really important. I could have got here by putting this three up here or anywhere along any of these lines, basically, and added other uh, points to get to this ramp. But for me, in order for remap to unwarp like Serum does, I needed to do it this way with a three in the middle. So your mileage may vary on that. Anyway, commit that. And then add this. Modulate the phase at 25% there. And then switch the harmonic to zero. And that is remap one. And our wavetable position is the warp button or knob. So if I'll just fully modulate that with a macro. So now macro one is remap. In order to get to remap two, you need the wavetable from the flip warp, which hopefully you've saved. Oh, I don't need this. Um, I've saved mine here, and then I'm going to modulate the level, and I'm going to switch the harmonic to 2, and then I'm going to use that macro on that level modulation. So that is remap 2. For remap 3, same deal, except this number is 171 the frame on the flip curve. And the harmonic on the 
remap curve is three. And then the harmonic for remap four is four. And the frame on the flip is 192. And that's remap four. Next up is quantize. Quantize is pretty easy. You've got some kind of generator, distortion, quantize. Move this up. And there we go. That's your warp mode, the drive knob, which you can macro. After quantize, it's FM, even easier. Some kind of generator, some other kind of generator, modulate phase at whatever level you feel like. Okay, so AM is a little more complicated. I'm going to create this wavetable here. Just so that I know what I'm dealing with, I'm going to create a new wavetable and I'm going to make this sine wave. I think it's technically not a sine wave, but there we go, 100% sine wave. And this second one down here is my modulation source. So I'm going to create a group and make an aux and make another wavetable. And I'm going to empty this one out. And I'm just going to draw some DC. Done. Oh, whoops, what happened there? There we go. So DC and then and other orcs. And I'm going to route the first orcs to that and the DC to that. And then I'm going to route my modulation source, the thing that I want to AM from, to this. And I'm going to set this DC to 50%. And then with this aux at the end here, this is what I AM with. So this will be better when you can save your group patterns, um, if that ever comes. I think it probably will. Uh, also of note is that my understanding of AM is that, that's too high, this would be AM, 100% on this DC here. I understand AM to mean um, carrier plus modulator plus one, or excuse me, carrier multiplied by open brackets, modulator plus one, close brackets. Uh, this is plus 0.5, but in my tests, this is what Serum does. So if your goal is to replicate Serum, do this. Uh, lastly, ring mod. Ring mod, we have a saw, we have a, um, a carrier, we have a modulator, and you just modulate the level. That's ring mod. As far as I understand ring mod. Ring mod, as far as I understand, is uh, modulator multiplied by carrier, which is that. So there you go. There's all of Serum's warp modes in Faceplant. Enjoy.